welcome to ssb short short academy me on the behalf of uh, ssb short short academy will be responsible for your physics so today we are just going to start with the projectile motion that is the part of your kinematics and in any of the uh, exam that is any of the exam related to defense either it is your nda cds your air force navy any of the exam is there so this projectile plays a very important role that is there will be a question from this particular motion that is the projectile motion and in this projectile motion we are having only three things that is very first is time of flight the second is maximum height and third one is horizontal range as it is written in front of you now what is projectile motion basically projectile motion is a basic two dimensional motion that is either into the x y plane or y z plane or x z plane any of the plane could be there but the motion will be into the two dimensions okay now let us take an example download the ssb short short app from google play store to access courses for written exams like nda cds and fcat you can also find courses for ssb personality development and spoken english apply the coupon code sign up 15 to get 15% off on your first purchase call us on 7259307111 for any queries so for example uh, this is x axis i'm taking and this will be y axis and a ball is thrown at some velocity v or let us take it as initial velocity as u only it will not create confusions and this is some angle theta these two things will be given to you into the question now starting with the very first thing before these three things there are three main equations that is three equations of motions that is equations of motion the very first equation is v is equals to u plus at the second equation s is equals to ut plus half ad square and the third equation v square is equals to u square plus 2as only these three equations will be applicable over here in complete projectile motion thus revolves around these three equations whatever we are finding out that is either it is time of flight maximum height or range these all things will be found out using those three equations so let us start the very first thing is uh, time of flight now what is time of flight time of flight basically that particular time for which my particle was into the motion that is now if i'll start so the trajectory will be something like this that is the path of the motion will be something like this that is this is our projectile motion it is having its uh, constituent particles that is if i'll just take the components of this velocity so it will have its components in two dimensions that is in x axis it will be u cos theta and if i'll talk about the y axis for y axis it will be u sin theta except this except this velocity and angle one more thing is given to us and that particular thing is acceleration that is acceleration due to gravity is known by everybody that is we denote it by small g and it is always acting towards the surface all right and this is only into the y direction into the y axis acceleration is given in x axis that is into the horizontal direction there is no acceleration acceleration in horizontal direction will be zero now if i'll start with time of flight so first of all i need to find out the time so if i'll just see one thing that is into the y direction a particle had started from here gone up to some height and then again descend and reach back at zero so that means a particle started from origin and ended back at x axis that means in y direction displacement is equals to zero so we are just going to apply the second equation of motion that is s which is zero u which is u sin theta u sin theta multiplied by time and here it will be minus because 
sign convection that is the direction of acceleration due to gravity is reverse as that of initial velocity and it is gt square now taking t uh, common or you can find out the two solutions for time the two solutions are very first solution is zero and second solution comes out to be u sin theta 2u sin theta sorry 2u sin theta by g this is the final answer came out that is a displacement is zero at two times which is true also that is t equal to zero also displacement is zero and at this particular time that is this time time is again zero so for projectile we denote this time of flight with capital t which is equals to 2u sin theta by g this is the time of flight now after time of flight there comes out a maximum height concept so for this maximum height what is the condition that is for maximum height final velocity must be zero that is we see it into the free fall under the gravity where for finding out the maximum height and all what we did we had used the third equation in which in which that is third equation is v square is equals to u square plus twice of as this is the third equation and in this v is equals to zero so here if i'll substitute v equal to zero and initial velocity that is u cos uh, sorry u sin theta into the vertical direction so it will be minus of u square sin square theta divided by minus of 2g so from here we found out the maximum height and we term it as capital h this is the second thing which is there under the projectile motion the very first is time of flight second is maximum height now if we'll talk about the horizontal range so if there is no acceleration provided into the x direction so there is a direct formula for finding out the distance now this range is basically a distance which is traveled for some time and speed is u cos theta so for finding out the distance and range we denoted by r so just in order to find out the distance it will be initial velocity that is u cos theta this will be multiplied by the total time taken by the partic particle to reach at this final point so uh, the total time taken is time of flight so it will be 2u sin theta by g so from here i can re rewrite this particular equation as u square sin 2 theta divided by g now there is a interesting question behind this that is very first question comes as the r max that is whenever we need to find out the range maximum that is the maximum range so for maximum range what we have to do there is only one thing which can vary that is the angle all right and sin theta's maximum value can be one here so for theta 1 the angle must be pi by 2 that is 90 degree so at 45 degree at 45 degree range comes out to be maximum okay and the second type of question is for range that is for complementary angles now what are complementary angles that is angles which are having their summation as 90 degree for example what are complementary angles that is 30 and 60 these two are complementary angles so for complementary angles range will be same that is the distance covered in the x direction will remain the same all right so this is the second question which is very common for range that is complementary angles are having same range so that's all about the projectile now comes the application part of projectile whenever there is an uh, moving bus moving vehicle is there and whenever a particle is dropped there is a general question uh, related to that that is a bus is traveling with some velocity u all right and now the uh, a person thrown something out of the window 
all right or dropped something out of the window so in both the cases the velocity remains the same that is the velocity will be same as u that is for the particle as well that is whatever particle which is thrown out of the window will attain the velocity of my vehicle either it is your vehicle or it is your helicopter or anything so the velocity will remain the same so from that point now the motion is converted into the projectile motion for this particular particle which is thrown out so this is again a case of projectile this is the basic application of projectile motion so let us revise all the things which we had done that is the time of flight maximum height and horizontal range in these three points only few points are there which you need to memorize very first thing that is for time of flight what we did the displacement in y direction we had equated it equal to zero and for maximum height what we did final velocity equated to zero and for third thing that is most important that is horizontal range acceleration in x direction is zero so these three points are there if you re if you just remember these three points whole projectile will be quite easy and you can just memorize the complete concept of this projectile are you preparing for defense written exams like nda cds afcat or sainik school entrance exam join our written exam preparation courses practice mock tests and get expert mentor support call us at 725 940 7111